solve quadratic equations. The methods that we will be looking at are to solve quadratic equations, we'll be looking at um, the quadratic formula. To use a quadratic formula to solve quadratic equations. Okay, that's one method. Second method will be by factorizing. Factorizing, factoring, and also by completing the square. Now, the question is when do we use it? Why do we use it? And should we use it? That will be up to you. As you will see, the problem depends on the problem also. If the problem cannot be factorized, then use completing the square or use a quadratic formula. Okay? For our purposes, we'll be sticking with the methods that we have seen with respect to our classes. Alright, so let's start. Our first example. Our first example will be. So let me call this example one. Okay. This is if we have factorized it out. The quadratic equation is factorized. Alright. So given an example of the form x open bracket x plus 3 equals 0. What is the solution to such formula, to such problem? Since the product, because this is a product a number times the next number differentiated by brackets which is a number since the product of two factors and x which are x and x plus 3 which are the two factors is equal to 0 then the term is 1 in one of the brackets or the one outside of the of the bracket must be 0 okay so let me write that down as notes here since product of two factors two factors and the two factors that we're talking about are x and x plus 3 in this case okay is equal is equal to 0 and then the term in one of the bracket must be zero. What is that saying? It is simply saying that two numbers can only be multiplied and give you the result as zero if one of them is zero or maybe both of them are zero. That is what that is saying. So let's start with the problem now. X, open bracket, X plus 3 equals 0. Since both of them or one of them can be 0, we are to write that X, which is the first term, is equal 0 or X plus 3 equals 0. This can't be factorized out or solved anymore. So we go to the next one, which says X equals negative 3. Remember how we brought this positive 3 over? We subtract 3 from both sides to get that positive 3 to the next side, hence becomes negative 3. So for the ones who may not be familiar with that, this is what just happened. x plus 3 equals 0. x plus 3. We remove the 3 from this side, so we must remove it from the other side. This to cancel out, giving us x equals negative 3. That is just a reminder, alright? So we are just transposing. Hence the solution... Hence, the solution are, and it has two solutions, x equals 0 or x equals negative 3. Those are the two solutions to the problem, okay, to such problems. So that is given problems like this. This is the way you are going to work it out, all right? Let's see a few more examples. Let me call this example 1. We have touched this topic before. But we are still touching it again. I'm going to use example 2 now. I'm not going to be using all of these words over again. Just we're going to be explaining it. So example 2. We have x minus 9. x minus 7. Equals 0. Remember, 
the product of two numbers the product here can only be zero if one of them or two of them are equal to zero therefore we are to write x minus 9 equals 0 or x minus 7 equals 0 so x let me put all of the steps so that we can we don't do any mistakes since it's negative 9 we must add 9 to this side and we must add 9 to the other side so that we are getting rid of this 9 from this side notice the red and the blue in this case will cancel with each other giving us 9 next side x minus 7 equals 0 and since it's negative 7 we must add 7 on this side and we must add 7 on the other side whatever you do on one side of the equation you must do it on the other side of the equation this now gives us x equals 7 so the solutions are x equals 9 x equals 7 all right let's go to another example notice that the examples are changing slightly in this case we have two values inside a variable and a number we have two brackets in the first one only one of them has a bracket in this third one it is slightly different we're gonna have now 3x plus 2 open close bracket times 4x plus 3 close bracket equals 0 one of them has to be equal to 0 okay so we put that 3x plus 2 equals 0 or 4x plus 3 equals 0 let me zoom in a little bit so you can see it much better there we are so we are to move this 2 to the other side this becomes 3x plus 2 equals 0 and so since it's positive 2 we must subtract 2 to this side and subtract 2 to the other side this now gives us 3x equals negative 2 notice that this will cancel with each other let me do the scratch so that you can see it now this is a product the opposite of product is division so we must divide this side by the coefficient of x and you must divide the other side by that same coefficient so divide here by 3 and divide here by 3 this now gives us that x equals to negative 2 thirds okay let's look at the other one this is one solution only the other solution will be as follows we have 4 x plus 3 equals 0 and so since it's positive 3 we must subtract 3 we must subtract 3 from the other side this now gives us 4x equals negative 3 divide by the coefficient of the variable which in this case is 4 so we divide here by 4 and we divide here by 4 this gives us x equals negative 3 quarter so those are the two solutions notice that these four cancel with each other these three cancel with each other so that's two solutions to this type of problem okay now we're gonna get one where we have negatives inside and see if anything changes okay let us go to the other example that's example three let's go to example four example four there we are example four now so we have seven x minus three open close bracket times four x minus one close bracket equals one of the two values which which is multiplication must be equal to zero so we put that seven x minus three equals zero or four x minus one equals zero we, re, we start to move values we need to move this negative 3 or in other words the value of 3 from one side so we put here plus 3 because it's minus and plus it on the other side this now gives us 7x equals 3 now divide by the coefficient of the variable in this case which is 7 so we put 7 underneath 7 underneath this now gives us that x is equals to 3 7 and, and then the other one we put we, since it's minus 1 we must add 1 to this side add 1 to the other side 
this gives us 4x equals 1 divided by the coefficient of the variable which in this case is 4 so we divide here by 4 and we divide here by 4 this gives us x equals a quarter notice that they cancel with each other so they not scratch it all so that you can see it and these are our solutions to this problem okay so those were four examples one two three four given to you with respect to that type of problems okay and we have some other examples which we can do also that's example one